Good morning guys. Oh, as you can see, this eye is not looking the best. And there is this one actually today because of the sun. Not that there's much sun now. That's it. Overcast, but it's glary. And this eye was once a shut all the time. I have an ulcer. So off to Sydney Eye Hospital. I'm just going to lift it up. There you go. He is working okay, but he's just developed an ulcer on him. And it's a damn annoying. I didn't want to go out this week. It's too hot. It's already in the approaching 30. It's 25 overnight, which is way too hot. Yes, my nose is still running. <laughs> I've got some poor tablets today. I've had a break from them, so I've had another lot. I get Plaramine. It's a hay fever allergy. Yep, our train's in five, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, okay. That's the commercial train. That's... That's the um, freight train, I think. Anyway, off to Sydney Eye Hospital. I will do something else while I'm there, most likely. I've got some stuff downloaded. I haven't paid for my internet yet. My 5G is down, so that's not working in outside. I can't ring out. Oh, that's all right. I can text. I can text somebody, message somebody, but I can't, um, see I'm holding it. He's not working properly, let's put it that way, the poor thing, cataract surgery. Uh, December 23rd, I think it was. Yes, they were working right up to that date. That's what I said too when I was told, December 23rd. I think it was a Friday. Uh, yeah, Friday. Saturday was Christmas Eve. Sunday was um, Christmas Day, so yes. I was right back home then. Sorry about the nose. <laughs> if you saw that. It's the season apparently here in Campbelltown. Domestic airport, yep. mascot, Green Square, Central, Central. Museum, That's St. Where James. Then we cross the road over to the, to the tram and we catch the tram to uh, Ramwick. The train on one does not stop at this no, this is not the train. This is the next one. Okay, guys, happy hands, happy tangling. I'll pop this on the end of another video. Uh, you'll see this probably in a couple of days. I'll upload something tonight again. I'm just uploading the final, the final little video. So I'm not going to do another project, not another Laramar or anything like that. It'll be um, something very simple. I've got a heart. Uh, I've got a heart um, stamp. And I'll try and do that this week when it cools down. It's just too hot. 37 degrees is too hot for resin. It is too hot for doing that. Too hot for drawing too, actually. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have fun. Play safe. Well, I don't look too bad today, except for that. Except for that eye. Yuck. <laughs> Bye, okay, guys. Just something a little different. This is an old gardening book I've had for oh, nearly 20 years, I suppose. When did it come out? Through the Digest. I got it at one of the bookstores. I'm surprised it survived. Complete Guide to Indoor Plants. So I was fanatical on it. Goes back to my Albury days. The pages are a little bit stuck together by the looks of it. 
Uh, when did it come out? If anyone's interested, it came out in 1980. Reader's Digest. Philippines copyrighted, so we could be in trouble. Now I'm just looking for a plant that I've got. It's a green leaf plant. Here the pages are heavy and thick. That's got water damaged in the shed. Uh, it's not that one. Fucus. That's a rubber plant. Uh, it's not that one. Let me get the plant in question. Let me get the plant. Let me get the plant here. I don't think it's the rubber plant. There she is. There she is. I think it's a fig. I'm going for a fig. Looks like a rubber tree, like a rubber tree. I think it's a fig. I'll just put you back over here. Put you back. I'm feeling it's a fig. It'll be a big plant no matter what it will be. Now. There we go. Back in its spot. It lives over there with the other two. The other two I know why they are. And it's they're growing like weeds. One's the bamboo and the other one's yeah, Bob, that. it's not that one. We might find it in here. Uh, very stiff paper. I think this must have got water damaged somehow in the shed. Ah, oh, life happens. Let's just have a quick little go through here. It's a beautiful book. I think it cost about $60 billion back in the day. No. Nope. See if we can find it the first couple of pages. That's growing outside. Thank you, it's all on the ground. <laughs> Am I the only person in the world that drops things on the ground without even trying? Beautiful pictures in here. Uh, no, that's not that one. I wish I had more space for plants, actually. Now, I hope there's no copywriting material in here. Oh, no, can't find it. It's not in the first couple of pages. It won't be there. Ah, uh, that... No, it's a bit long. Uh, let me get to the... Where's the... That's where I've got them growing. Just up there. Sometimes I'll put the ring light on them. If it's a dull day. Oh, of course you're not plugged in, are you? Ah, oh, dear me, guys. It shows you how... Ooh. No, it's not a fig. That's the fig. Very detailed, very, very detailed flock. Uh, Minifly is the US, but it's good for anything. I like to get one of these. Put it somewhere. All drawings, all drawings, all hand drawing. This is a nice indoor plant too. You can hear the pages clicking together. Oh, that's all right. I found an old cookbook in the shed. That could be another video. Very old cookbook. Goes back to my holly school days. I love orchids and Woolworths has got some beautiful orchids for $27. Absolutely beautiful right now. 
If you want a nice gift for someone on Valentine's Day, get them a nice orchid. Comes in a nice pot. It'll continue to grow for years. Unless, of course, you've got a black thumb, of course. Then it won't. Look at the pages sticking together. No, I can't find it. I thought this might help me find it. That's a very good... Nice, oh, very good one. They all, those three came from Bunnings. And to my amazement, they're all surviving. <laughs> I'll have to get bigger pots for them. Like I said, that, that big, tall, yellow, green-leafed one that's grown about six inches in the last three months. No, can't help me, can you, book? Must be a new plant. It's grown in Australia from Woolworths, that one. That one's from Woolworths. It was near the rubber tree plants. Uh, Banana tree, no. That's the rubber tree. There's the fig. Uh, might grow into that. I think it's a fig. I don't think it's a rubber tree. I don't think it's the rubber tree. I love the rubber tree. It's a weed here. It is classed as a weed. But you can still buy them. Uh, that one, no, that's a different one, that's a Chinese, that's a different leaf, isn't it? I like the prayer plant too. That's the closest, could be a banana tree. That's a bit closer. It's already 30 degrees. You're in Sydney at lunchtime. That was not that one. Very detailed book. If you find it, grab it. Nope, purple. There's some of the ivies. I love ivy. I love all plants. Who am I kidding? If I had spare cash, I would be buying plants. I've got a nice little shelf up there with a painting on it. A couple can go up there. It's a little bit high. Now, there's a quick little flip through. We're still playing Christmas music. <laughs> Copyright free Christmas music. <laughs> on our videos. Yes, I've got a couple I must put music on. I like palms too. I've just got no space, guys. No space to move. I just found a... Well, it's a rubber stamp, actually. Uh, we're going to play with that when it cools down. Maybe midweek. And see if I can fit it into a tray mould. Small tray mould. Nope, it's not in there, is it? Let me know in the comments if you think you know what it is. I don't think it's a flowering plant. Glory bush. No. Nope. Of course, what these class is indoor plants. For you guys in the US, we can grow these outside. There's that one. Climbing hunter's robe. That looks like that. 
green one up there, that yellow and green leaf. It's going to climb everywhere. That was from Bunnings. The bamboo was from Bunnings. No, it's not a wax flower. I know that much. I used to know a lot of plants back in the day. I was growing them. And especially in Albury, I was growing a lot of plants. No, it's more like the fig. Oh, a little quick flip through an old book. It's got all the... Every detail you can want. Oh, I must put it in the bookcase. There you go, guys. A little quick flip through. Reader's Digest. And it looks more like that fig to me. We'll see how it grows. Okay, happy hands, happy tangling, happy crafting, happy planting. Have fun.